Florida continues to tackle human trafficking head on. The governor signing a new bill into law this month, putting millions towards emergency resources for victims. Those measures update existing laws while also raising awareness. CBS 12's Katie Benty joins us live tonight in West Palm Beach. Katie? Men and women of every age are being trafficked virtually every single day, and it's happening all over. But experts say here in South Florida, we are a melting pot of different people, making it that much easier for these criminals to go under the radar. And that's what makes legislation like this so crucial in the fight against human trafficking. As the numbers climb, so does the urgency for action. The Sunshine State ranks number three in the country for human trafficking reports and Palm Beach County is number three in the state. But this heinous crime isn't specific to one area. Traffickers don't care. So we have I-95, we have I-10, we have the Turnpike. We ha we're so transient um, that traffickers are gonna come and go and they're gonna take people from place to place to place. In a bold move to combat human trafficking, Governor Ron DeSantis signed a lengthy piece of legislation into law this month. One of the more controversial changes focuses in on adult entertainment establishments, now raising the minimum age for employees from 18 to 21. It can be, as cliche as it sounds, a gateway. Is it the end all be all? Will this completely stop trafficking and grooming? No, but if we can take away uh, one more vulnerability opportunity or put up one more boundary to make it a little bit harder, why not? This will be four complexes for affordable transitional housing. Place of Hope is a local organization fighting to end human trafficking by helping our most vulnerable break out of the cycle. It's one of the few places in the area to provide transitional housing for victims. There's always a need and unfortunately I think there's there's always going to be a need. DeSantis is working to fill that need, promising nearly $5 million to expand access to emergency beds. Along with that, the state is investing in prevention, putting money and resources toward education. It's so vital. Um, you know, they say less than 1% of trafficking survivors are actually rescued. And that's just there's so many of them that are around us every day that we don't see. It's about learning what to look for and more importantly, knowing what steps to take when you see it. Now, in an effort to provide timely tips to law enforcement, Florida rolled out its own human trafficking lifeline, 855-FLA-SAFE. Now, that lifeline will be put on awareness signs all over key locations, anywhere from rest stops, emergency rooms, and strip clubs. Now, for more information, you could head to our website, cbs12.com. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, I'm Katie Benty, CBS 12 News.